What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Charizard Sun Team for Ranked Regulation F. Now Charizard, very dope Pokemon, was released actually towards the beginning of the game when it came in at this, like a Terror Raid event, but now Sun Teams did get a buff from Regulation F, so this Pokemon should be seeing some usage on the Ranked Ladder. We got Walking Wake, we got Venusaur and Wimscott all coming in from the DLC, making Sun Teams actually super, super strong. So, been loving these guys in the sun, cannot wait to add Charizard in today's video and get rocking out with them. But speaking of Charizard, let's go over its moves and all that good stuff. It's got Solar Power as its ability and it's holding the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got the brand new Terror type with Stellar and its moveset is absolutely amazing with Protect, Scorching Sands, Air Slash, and Heat Wave. Super excited to be using this Pokemon. Want to pair it up with Torkoal or Wimscott to set the sun. They're going to be our two sunsetters, and we should be able to thrive out from there. We also have Incineroar on the scene in the top left hand corner. You guys know what it does. Controls attack, controls special attack with Snarl, and also it gets a nice big time fake out whenever it hops onto the field. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Walking Wake and Venusaur. Just like Charizard, they really thrive out in the sun, and they can really do some big time damage. Walking Wake got that life orb. Amazing moves set of Hydro Steam, Protect, Flamethrower, and Dragon Poles, and Venusaur's rocking the Covert Cloak with Chlorophyll as its ability to double its speed in the sun. I really do like Venusaur's moveset as well with Protect, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, and Sleep Powder. You get control with Sleeps, plus you can do some big time damage with Sludge Bomb. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's showcase Charizard in match number one. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and this team is looking rather strong. They got Grim Snarl for screens. They're also rocking out with Ogre Pond, Landorus, and then Rollaboom and Incineroar for two fake out users and Raging Bull. Very strong team, but one thing that screams at me is no weather control for them. So I can set up weather control and pretty much have it for the rest of the match, right? Yeah, I definitely do like that, but who should I lead here? Because I'm probably going to lead a fake out slash intimidate user, so not going to lie, Venusaur's not going to be too shabby here. I don't mind Venusaur, but if they do go into Incineroar, then it's like, oh, that's a little tough, right? Hmm, you got the Poison Terror type, which isn't bad at all. It's not bad. I could just set up Tailwind or Sunny Day, either or, but Screens going to be a little bit of a problem. I don't like Screens. I definitely don't like Screens, so I could go maybe like Incineroar turn one. Fake out the screen user. And maybe get after it with you. God, Tailwind can't taunt Grim Snarl, which sucks. It really does suck. So I'm thinking of maybe just going like Torkoal and Charizard. Huh. This is a tough call for me. It definitely is. But you know what? I'm going to go Wimscott. I am going to end up leading Venusaur just because you have Cobra Cloak. And on top of that, we're going to bring Charizard and Walking Wing. This one's going to be tough. Screens is definitely a problem when going up against this team. You set up a light screen, a lot of my Pokemon are special attacking. You're just going to half damage for the rest of the match. That's just crazy. That's crazy. Especially because most Grimstones are rocking the light clay, giving it 8 turns instead of 5. This one's going to be tough for us. Tough match number 1. Let's see if we can actually pull this out with the Charizard. The Zard full of Chars. So they're going to end up leading Grimstone. Yeah, just simple, easy call there. No problem for them. I'm going to end up leading the Venusaur. So Venusaur and Wimscott is actually not a bad move. I know they do have Sludge Bomb. But from here, do I pop the Sunny Day turn one? Yeah, I'm going to pop Sunny Day. And I am just going to probably put you to sleep, right? Yeah, if they want to set up screens, they can set up screens turn one. Sunny Day is going to come out here. We'll get this set up for the squad. And I'm going to try to put this land to sleep. I just don't want to deal with it, right? Hopefully, we can land this. Fingers crossed. Come on, Venusaur. Sleep Powder. My God. My God. Big time Sleep Powder coming out from us. Turn one. Putting this Lando to sleep. So, Lando's pretty big of a threat, especially with Sludge Bomb and Sheer Force. All that good stuff. But, Light Screen's here. So, we, we already knew we were going up against Light Screen. We already knew it would be a problem. And from here, I am just going to start attacking at this point, right? We'll do that. And do I also double down into you? Yeah. Most likely, we just double down. So we'll start attacking him. He's just going to start Thunder Wave. He's slowing me down a little bit. I should set up a Tailwind rather soon. But Thunder Wave is going to be a problem. Because I know he's going to get a few turns where I'm just straight up paralyzed. But the Azagleen's going to fly. They're able to soak super well. You wake up in one turn. And you set up a Substitute. Okay, cool. Just what I wanted. You to wake up in one turn and set up a Substitute. And I'm paralyzed. Hot start for us. Hot start for us. So lovely RNG. I get paralyzed. And on top of that... 
they're able to do that. So now I think I just set up a tailwind for the rest of the squad because he might just sludge bomb my one squad here and finish that off and then just sludge bomb you. But lovely, lovely. A substitute comes out here from Lando and he's ready to go. He's ready to terrestrialize as well. I love this game. I just love this game. Hot stuff for RNG, but he terrestrialized probably in a poison type, right? Yeah, and he's just gonna look to do some big time damage right? either onto Wimscott or Venusaur with a sludge bomb. Lovely. Lovely. Substitute. Come on, man. I don't mind the substitute, but the one turn sleep, I never get those. Ridiculous. He's gonna end up thunder waving my Whimsy Poo, slowing him down, and we have to get rid of this Grimstone. He's just a monster of a threat. Bit too much of a threat here. And I'm. <laughs> And I'm paralyzed two turns? And I'm paralyzed two turns. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here. Come on now. He's gonna get rid of my Whimsicott. So at least we got off Tailwind and Sunny Day, but two turns? I get paralyzed two turns. They sleep one turn. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Is it now time to go into Charizard or Walking Wake? Might be a Walking Wake turn here just to get rid of Substitute, or I could just go straight Charizard. Yeah, I'm gonna go Charizard here. He can't hit me with ground moves. You could hit me with uh, special attack drops, but he's gonna paralyze me. We already know he's gonna paralyze me, which is so annoying. <laughs> but I'm gonna Stellar Terror type here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna stay with my Terror type. And actually, I'm just gonna go for a Scorching Sands here, because it's gonna be super effective. Actually, Heat Wave to take off the uh, the Substitute turn one, though. So we're gonna do that, and we're just gonna double down in this thing. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, now I'm paralyzed dude. I'll watch both my Pokemon are not gonna be able to move. Just paralyzed. I can't even like try to stop this thing because I'm paralyzed on all my turns. So that's why I'm coming out here. Love the damage. Can Heat Wave finish that off? We do get a poison, thank you. So a lot of RNG going out today. A bit too much RNG. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly. I think that's gonna go after Venusaur, right? No, you're gonna go after my Charizard. The Charizard's able to survive that, which is beautiful. Kind of weird that you're outspeeding me here. Grimstar, of course, dodged that attack when I want the KO with there. It is weird that you're outspeeding my Charizard here. Zion Tail went up. You gotta be choice or something. Oh no, they paralyzed my Charizard. Never mind. I totally forgot. So there's that. Poison's chipping up. Let's just protect you. Let's just go for an Earth Power. You set up a sub, you set up a sub could set up a sub you know what? let's double down let's double down charizard dies out charizard dies out but i'm just gonna go for scorching sands actually scorching sands i thought it was a two hitting move it's not so i'm just gonna go heat wave here and i'm just gonna go earth power in this slot paralyzed oh my lord he ends up withdrawing grim sorrow that's not bad i'm kind of hoping he sets up a sub he's gonna go into raging Bull. So Bolt comes out here. Bolt's a terrifying Pokemon. A Pro Synthesis is going to pop for him as well. Boosting its special attack. So Thunderclap, not to be played around with. End up dropping this Earth Power, and it doesn't pick up the KO. The Light Screen, I told you guys early on here. Light Screen was just a monster threat. Just a monster threat. Dang, yo, if they didn't have Light Screen, we probably still would have won this match. But they are just out us, paralyzing us left and right. And now we're sitting in such a tough position, because Sun is gone. It's gone. We don't have Pro Synthesis. We got none of that. But I can go into my boy right here, which I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind. I could be wrong. Do we have one turn left in Tailwind? We do. So one turn left in Tailwind is actually really nice for us. Um, definitely want to Dragon Pulse you, correct? The more damage, the better. We still have Terra, and we might want to just Terra into Poison here. Let's just stop that Electric Weakness. Thunderclap coming in here. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I'm just going to try to finish off this Thunderous here. Not Thunders. Landers. Okay. So, yeah. Rough match number one for us. Real rough. I, I knew it from the beginning. I knew I was just like, he's going to set up Light Screen. We're just going to have a huge problem taking out this Pokemon. But then after that, it wastes out Sun super easily by getting some big time paralyzed turns. Kind of just going from there. But he ends up protecting Lando here. I think he might just double protect here and waste out the last two turns of Tailwind. Or he could be going for Thunderclap. No, he's just going to stay in here with the Freezing Bolt. And did I get a crit there? That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Walk and wake. That's a monster turn for me. That's a monster turn for me. So they're going to waste out the last turn of Tailwind. I do lose a little bit of HP. And I wonder who they go into here. I wonder what they do here. Because they could go for the ground move now. 
the ground move could come out here. They're gonna go back into Grimstar here. The Grimstar comes out here. I think I just protect you. I don't. I really don't want to be paralyzed with you. And I want to try to put you to sleep. We'll just KO you, right? Yeah. Why don't we just protect and try to KO this thing? Yeah, because Scorching Sands is not looking good. Or not Scorching Sands. Sands here, Storm. Not looking good into that poison slot right there. So there's the Thunder Wave. Nice little block. We love that block. And you're going for the Sands here, Storm, right? You go for the Earth Power. Same thing. Cool. So the big time protect for double. Can you land this, Venusaur? Thank you. I was going to say, if I'm paralyzed that turn, <laughs> this is just terrible. But we're giving ourselves a hot shot here to win this match. We're giving us a hot chance. We're right back in this game. Right back in this game. So we know he wants to paralyze me with Grimstone. And that's going to be his last turn. Oh, wow. You lived on one. You lived on one. I wish you would have died. But he's going to paralyze me for his last turn probably, right? So I'm not even going to attack Grimstone. I'm just going to let him die out the poison and just attack this Ogre Pond. Now, Ogre Pond, it's typing not too good. Dragon Pulse is probably going to be your best bet. We can't use the water absorb you. And on top of this, we're just going to go for Sludge Bomb. You already Terrasalized, so... Let's just double down into this thing. He's going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. And you don't end up paralyzing me. You're just going to double down and try to attack me. Dragon Pulse does outspeed, which is gorgeous. That's some big time damage. Sludge Bomb can KO. Sludge Bomb should be able to KO. Spirit Break. Oh, you're going to drop my special attack. But you keep my what's called alive. My walking wake. So this will turn into a 2v1. And it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Venusaur picking up that KO. And that's going to be game. The poison picking up the final KO, and wow, we really turned that match around. They had a hot start for them, setting up the light stream, and on top of that, getting big time paralyzed, but my boy, Walking Wake and Venusaur staying in, absolutely killed it. Hopping into our second match, and we got a little bit of a weather war here. They got Alone with Ninetales to set the snow, and we got Wimscott and Twerkle to set the sun. Okay, so <laughs> sun versus snow here. They also have Iron Bundle, great Pokemon, especially in the snow. And then they got Suicune. They're also rocking out with Iron Crown, Entei, and Landorus. So Wimscott, definitely going to be our lead again. I love this Pokemon so much. And I think I might also lead it with Charizard. Right? A little bit of Char action. I don't mind it. Let's go Charizard. So Charizard, Wimscott here. Going to bring our Protosynthesis Pokemon in the back end. And last but not least, we could go Incineroar. We could go Venusaur. And I'm leaning towards Incineroar. I love the fake out option. I love the Intimidate. I love how we have Snarl here as well. Gonna be really, really good. So I'm going into these four. We're locking it in, looking to go 2-0 and starting off today's video back-to-back -back victories. But that last match, I told you guys it was gonna be tough. With Grimstarl setting up screens, always such a big threat, especially because my team is just a uh, big time special attack team. So they only really had to set up one screen. And that's exactly what they did, but we had the late comeback. I think it was like a 2v4. Walking Wake popped a nice big time crit into the Raging Bolt that allowed us to get the other Pokemon rolling. Venusaur picked up the KO and the poison on the Grimmsnarl. Then we were able to finish off Lando and kind of just settle the match down and end it. But yeah, that was just such a solid match. Such a solid match. But I wonder who they're going to lead here. I would think Alolan Ninetales, right? I would I would hope Alolan Ninetales, right? But maybe not. Maybe they go back in for that and try to allow us to set up the sun. Yeah, that looks like what they want to do here. So I'm going to go into Char Char, alongside with Wimscott, and they go Suicune alongside with Iron Crown. Okay, so do I set up the Sunny Day here? I could set up Sunny Day. They could set up Tailwind. Uh, if they set up Tailwind, that's not that big of a deal. I think I'd rather get off Sunny Day and then maybe just like Stellar Terra. And pop either Scorching Chance or just a Heat Wave, right? Yeah, let's just Heat Wave in the Sunny Day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So they're going to Terrasalize turn one. Probably Iron Crown, right? Hoping it's weak with me. It's going to be Iron Crown. So Iron Crown's going to get rid of its steel weakness. Let's go straight water. I wish I had Solar Beam here. Double water Pokemon. Here. Luckily, I am Stellar Tower Typing. But double water on We might have to swap Char Char, right? We might have to swap the Zard. Venusaur would have been nice, but we have no Grass Moves on this week. The Walking Wake's actually not going to be too bad here. On my walking move, but I'm gonna stellar terror type by Charizard. I'm gonna pop the sunny day, that will neutralize any of the water damage coming in here as well. And they're just gonna go for eight bolts, so that's still super effective. Hate this game so much, and of course, you get a crit. Like, come on, now. don't double down on my Charizard, allow me to lose it. And they're gonna go right into nine tails, right? They're gonna go right into nine tails. It's a smart play. 
They're gonna go right into Nine Tails with a full switch on the Iron Crown. That's a little crazy, right? That's a little crazy. So we'll see what Suicune wants to do here. Maybe just pop a Tailwind. That's exactly what it does in Charizard. Can you just rip into the Nine Tails with the Sea Wave? So you don't get the Sunny Day or Solar Power damage anymore, but still, with the boost, gonna rip up into Nine Tails. Something we love. Something we absolutely love. We got a crit onto the uh, Suicune as well. And we get a burn, so Nine Tails going. Nine Tails going. Nine Tails is gone. You're gonna actually have leftovers. So from here, Nine Tails is gonna drop out. We're gonna see what they're gonna do from here. They cannot set up a war belt. We can set the sun whenever we want to again, the sunny day. Or would I rather pop the tail? That's the real question. Those be the questions. But I think I might pop tail when this turn. The reason I might say that is because I need Charizard to actually get some speed going. Let's see who they go into. Are they going to go back into Iron Crown? Most likely, right? Yeah, so Iron Crown comes back out here. Um, I wonder if you outspeed Charizard. You do, don't you? You, are, you just proved that you outspeed Charizard. So I could swap into maybe like Incineroar. Save this. Could pop another Sunny Day if I want to. Hmm. I'll pop a sunny day here. I'm gonna swap into Incineroar. I know that the Intimidate does nothing, but if I could start snarling, if I could start snarling, that could be good, especially saving our Charizard for the late game. I'm gonna swap into Incineroar here. I just feel like it's a safe swap. And we'll go from there. Sunny Day comes out here. So if they're going for any type of water moves here, we can stop that right here. Tachyon Cutter's gonna come out here, and that's just gonna take us out. So we don't have Tailwind, which kind of sucks. But I could fake out here, which wouldn't be bad. What are you going for? What are you going for, Suicune? You're going for a Skull here. So let's, the Sun neutralized some of that, which is big time. And from here, do I just bring out the Walking Wake, especially in the Sun? Yeah, probably. Get that speed boost. Save the Charizard late game. Yeah, let's go walk and wink. So I can fake out here. I can start snarling. Um, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Suicune seems like a big time problem. So I get my special attack heightened. Um, Dragon Pulse is going to be our friend. I'm going to attack you. I might double down with Rakion. Good parting shot here as well. I'm going to double down with Rakion. No fake out Terrakion. We're not, we're not dealing with that. He ends up just withdrawing Terrakion. So Terrakion's gonna get the withdrawal. We're going into a Dragon. So let's see who they end up going into. It's gonna be Bundle. So Bundle? So gonna take some nice damage to this. Fake out gonna come out here. My special attack was boosted. He's gonna lower my speed down a little bit. Nothing too crazy. You already outspeed me because you have a Tailwind, so it's not that big of a deal. Dragon Pulse gonna fly. So Dragon Pulse, how much damage are you doing? Big time damage. Later, Iron Bundle, so bad swap from them. Now, they can only have these two Pokemon out. So, I think I'm just going to protect the Walking Wake here and get a Snarl off. I know Snarl can't drop the stats of, of what's it called? Of Suicune, but it will drop it of Iron Crown. So, if I can protect, start slowing down these turns, that could be really good for us. That could definitely be really good for us. So, protect you, Snarl up. Could maybe parting shot here, but that really do much. Actually, we might want a parting shot next turn, to be honest. Just so I can reset my fake out, maybe get another fake out turn. Just be pretty big for us. So I go for the protect here. He's gonna end up going for an expanding force into this slot. We said no. Yo, we blocking that right off the rip. I'm not dealing with that. Hopefully they double down. And no, they're gonna just attack my uh Incineroar again with a nice big time skull. Snarl coming out here. We love it. Drop that special attack right now. Drop that. We're not dealing with that. Oh, and it does drop you too. That's huge. That's huge. Do I just stay in here then? Yeah, instead of getting out of fake out turn, let's just keep snarling. Let's just keep snarling because their tailwind's gone. Their tailwind is gone. I'm going to start attacking the Suicune. I'm going to start attacking the Suicune and just keep the snarls on the board. Expanded Force flying out here. You're minus one. Actually, does a nice chunk of damage. We don't like that. Skull's going to fly into this slot. So I'm snarling again. 
I'm just gonna keep snarling. Dragon Pulse flying into Suicune. Doing solid damage. Yo, he's hitting hard. Walking Wake's hitting hard. Snarl coming out here. Wow, love it. Drop that special attack in. And now we just protect the uh the walking wake again. Now I might party shot. I just might party shot here. I just might party shot here. No, you know what? No, we're gonna protect you. Keep going with the snarls. As we just keep dropping the special attack. It's looking pretty nice for us. So we protect Suicune here. That's fine. I think he wants to waste out the last turn of Sun to get some damage off here. I'm gonna protect the walking wake. So he's gonna end up sticking with the expanded force in this slot. And I'm gonna go for a parting shot next turn. I would love to just have that fake out. But even though fake out, hmm, is it really gonna do much? Because you have inner focus on Suicune. I could drag a pulse finish off Suicune. And that's actually gonna be my turn, to be honest with you. That's gonna be my turn all day. So since this does wear off, Dragon Pulse, oh, is that KOing now? It might not. It might not. I'm really hoping it does. Because I'm hoping I can go Dragon Pulse, finish you off, and then just parting shot into you. That's going to be my play. So Expanded Force flies through here. You soaked this up all day. Yeah, all day. That's that's an easy soak up. Skull's going to fire. You soaked that up too. Beautiful. So if I could pick up these KOs, that'd be massive. And I forgot about my berry. Is that my Figgy? Is that Figgy bringing me back up the half? Good old Figgy. Dragon Pulse gonna fire. Should finish you off, correct? It does. Huge. And now I can parting shot into this thing, lower its special attack again, and have Fake Out ready to go. Wow, what a match. Scald or not Scald? Uh, Snarl coming in hot here. Snarl does drop through Inner Focus. Lovely. Lovely. So Inner Focus just stops like abilities, like Intimidate. It stops Intimidate and Fake Out, which is huge. If I'm gonna do that. I get to bring back out the Char Char, and that's pretty much match. What are you, minus four on special attack? Lovely. Lovely. Walking Wake. And why is Walking Wake that much bigger than Charizard? That's absurd. But now I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse here. I'm going to go into a lovely little Air Slash. I could go into Scorching Sands, but Air Slash is going to be a bit more damage for us. And they probably just cancel. Yep, there's the cancel the match. We are 2-0 with this Charizard team. Final match on its way, going up against another team with no weather control. They do have Walking Wake though, a Pokemon that's going to thrive in the sun if we set it up. They also have Volcarona, they got Amoongus, Incineroar, Fluttermane, and last but not least, Iron Hands. So Iron Hands potentially a lead here. I think I might just go in the Whimscott again alongside with Charizard. That's not a bad lead for us either. But if they do end up going into a Fake Out user, it could be a little tough. So maybe I just want to go into Venusaur here because we do have the Covert Cloak. That's something I like. So I'm going to bring in the whole Sun Squad, Charizard, Walking Wake, Venusaur. Alongside Wimscott, we have to make sure we set up Sunny Day with Wimscott. Because we don't have Torkoal on this back end, they can really get Thrive. But I believe they don't have a Trick Room Center, right? I didn't make sure of that because they have, uh, they have Pokemon that can Thrive in Trick Room. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. It was uh, Iron Hands, Incineroar. I think it was Fluttermane, Volcarona, Amoongus. And then what's the last Pokemon? Kind of forget. But can that last Pokemon set up Trick Room? I hope not. Volcarona Fluttermane come out here. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. I mean, what's called can set up Trick Room? Fluttermane can. But for the most part, it doesn't, right? Let me just make sure they can't set up Trick Room. No, it was Incineroar. Okay, so yeah. So Trick Room, unless Fluttermane setting up the Trick Room, they don't have a Trick Room setter. So I highly doubt that. So from here, I could set Sunny Day. I could put... I can put... You just sleep because Rage Pattern won't affect me. Full corner doesn't. So I'm gonna put Fluttermane to sleep and I'm just gonna set up the Sunny Day turn because that'll double my speed. We shall double my speed and you might just be going for Heat Waves. <laughs> this could be a problem for me. <laughs> and I Protosynthesis boost you. Oh my lord. This is actually a problem for us. I should have set up a Tailwind. You end up going. Oh. This, you might have just double killed us, right? If you're going for Heat Wave, we're just dead. We're just dead. Venusaur still outspeeds me, so I put you to sleep. But Heat Wave? I might have made a mistake. I was thinking you would go for like Rage Powder. No, you go for Quiver Dance. You dance up with the Quivers. Uh, I don't mind that. Uh, okay. So I got Fluttermane to sleep. Guaranteed to sleep this next turn. It slows down a little bit, but Venus was still out speed. So I could Terrasilize into Poison. And just go for some Sludge Bomb damage here. Or I could just stay, and if they die out, they die out. I think that's a fine turn for me. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to set up a Tailwind. 
The fan went out and about. We're gonna sludge bomb down the bulk run. Bulk run is actually gonna be able to bulk pretty well with a special defense. Yeah, wow, give me a poison. Give me, mm, whoa. Heat waves double KO in us. Okay. Not bad. I mean, I got Sunny Day set up alongside with Tailwind. Definitely maybe should Thrasalize, but I think we're dying after that regardless. I really do. I really do. But now I get to bring in two powerhouses. Two absolute studs. So we're hoping Fluttermane's going to be asleep for one more turn, right? That's really what we need. We can't have a one-turn sleep here. Because I'm thinking it would just Terrasalize and Charizard pop in Heat Waves with Solar Power. And then have him walk away just throw a Hydro Steam into that Volcarona slot. Yeah, it makes the most sense, right? It makes the most sense. So if Fluttermane could be asleep for one more turn, that'd be beautiful. Because I'm just going to do this. Pop that Heat Wave. Hydro Steam right in the bulk runner, who might just terrestrialize here. Who might just terrestrialize. We'll see. We'll see. Because I think is a threat. That's why we got to double down to it. But I'm terrestrializing here. We're hoping. If they don't terrestrialize, this could be a massive turn for us. This could be a big time turn. We just need Fluttermane to be asleep again. Because I don't think this Heat Wave KOs. I would hope this Heat Wave KOs, but I don't think it does. And chances are it probably is asleep and then we can just get rid of it next turn. And yeah, they're going to terrestrialize Volcarona. So Volcarona gets to Terra. It's going to go into straight water. Just the most perfect Terra type. For what I'm trying to do. They perfectly terrestrialize here. We're going to go into a Hydro Steam. How much damage does Hydro Steam do? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. We lose some HP to Life Orb. And Fluttermane is going to be asleep. Fluttermane slump here. Heat Wave's gonna fly through here. How much damage are we doing this heat? Not bad. Bringing that thing down to one. You got a crit. Are you Sash? Okay, I was gonna say, are you Sash or just super lucky? So we had some focus Ash. And so here's the problem now. Here's the problem where we sit. So Fluttermane is faster than Walking Wake. And actually Volcarona might be faster than Charizard right now. With that plus two. So I need Walking Wake to attack the Fluttermane. Because that thing's probably going to wake up here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to Air Slash over on that. And I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower here. Actually, I'll Hydro Steam. A little bit better of a move. In case you want to swap. And we'll go after Fluttermane. The Volcarona just ends up protecting him. Wants some leftovers damage. And on top of that, he wants to waste out Tim. Actually, we might have one more turn left with Tim. Which we so Hydro Steam going to finish off Fluttermane. And from here... What's the player? Because Volcarona a big time threat. Big time threat. Big time threat. I would like to just Dragon Pulse that and finish that off, right? That's what I would like to do. That thing's just bulky. He's bulky right now, especially up against special attackers. The Quiver Nance is doing me dirty. So we do have one turn left in Tailwind, which is huge. Two turns left in Sun. Incin comes up. Ah, oh, that's tough. Incin player. With the fake outs. With the fake outs. So with one turn left in Tailwind, I think we might just want to double down into into you, right? Just do that in Dragon Pulse instead of protecting. Yeah, I would love to try to get rid of this move, right? At least try to. So if, I, if I can get rid of this, we could be sitting in such a good position with Hydra Seam ready to go. No terror for them. You end up faking out the Charizard. I actually like that a little bit better. Because you take Rock Helmet damage and this Dragon Pulse probably has a better chance of KOing. Bruh, bruh, a one HP live, and then I die, and then I die. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a win all day. That's a win all day if we get that. No shot. One HP bandits to finish me off in today's video. One HP bandit. I mean, Heat Wave's going to be your play. Just so we can pick up a KO and do some damage on the other Pokemon. But one HP bandits coming out here. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I would have loved to pick up the KO there. Surprised he didn't fake out the walking wake. Heat wave's gonna fly into you, and that's just gonna KO me. No, we end up surviving, but we can't KO this uh We didn't even KO the Volcarona. 
We get a burn though. <laughs> so eventually we're gonna KO it, but Incineroar's gonna be able to go for Flare Blitz, knock off whatever it wants, yeah, and just finish this off. But wow, that's crazy that we lose to one HP because if my Walking Wake survives there, I could just Hydra Steam the next turn, probably KO the Incineroar and kind of just go from there and have Charge and Thrive out. But hey, that's the matches, two and one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, two in one for today's video, rocking out with Charizard in ranked regulation F. Love this Pokemon so much, Blimscott was our main setter of sun, and it really worked out well, especially with Walking Wake, because Walking Wake is a powerhouse in the sun. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.